Hello, it's Ruby, and today I have got a part study with me, part day in my life to share with you. I have some studying I want to get done before the new term starts. I'm spending a couple of hours most mornings doing some work and I'm really, really enjoying this. I'm doing lots of work for my dissertation, but also preparatory work for my other modules and everything I'm learning is honestly fascinating. So I'm loving this process so much. So this morning I started off by taking some notes on The Water Babies by Kingsley. The Water Babies was published in 1863, making it one of the first Victorian children's books. It was written by Charles Kingsley, who was Queen Victoria's chaplain and a Christian socialist during the hungry 40s. So he was speaking out against poverty and was a huge supporter of improving public health and sanitation. One thing which he was particularly vocal about was chimney sweeps. And in The Water Babies, Tom is a chimney sweep so we can see his politics crossing over into his literature. I read this on Kindle and took notes as I was going along, so I just wrote these up into Notion, and I was taking notes on it because I am very interested in Victorian literature and the foundations of Victorian literature, and so it's just good to have a notation of these things. And then next I made a timeline. This was of key events in the development of Christmas as a holiday in the Victorian period. And then I just did one piece of critical reading for my dissertation. And then I had two letters I wanted to write. So this first one was to my friend Umi. I'd already written a half of it. I just finished it off. And then I also wrote a letter to another friend. Then in the afternoon I went out with my parents and one of the places we went was this beautiful antique shop. It was honestly incredible and it was massive and I loved looking around it. So here we are on the next day. So I started off by making a mind map and I'm so sorry that this angle is so bad. I didn't realize that you could not see anything I was doing, but I was making this mind map of why my dissertation topic that I've chosen is relevant and kind of important, like how it actually fits into discussions and conversations which are happening in scholarship at the moment. That took me about 40 minutes because I was like doing research at the same time and then I went on my morning walk. It was so so pretty and misty this morning and I just love going on walks. When I got back I made myself a turmeric and cinnamon latte. This is so delicious. You literally just boil up some coconut or almond milk and then add your turmeric and spices and some kind of sweetener and it's such a cozy drink for a rainy day. Back up in my room I did another two pieces of critical reading for my dissertation and just wrote up notes as I was going through so it would all be very easy to find when I actually need this information. And then I just wanted to finish my book. I was reading this book, it's called The Tunnel Through Time by Gillian Tyndall, which is basically a history of London and it uses the London Underground to track how London has changed in the last 300 years. So it's like a kind of journey through London and you go through all of the different districts. It tells you, for example, like the long history of King's Cross. I really liked too how the book was interlaced with passages from literature, which encapsulate how London was seen at the time. So you have all of these lovely pieces of travel writing. So for example, I love this poem by Wordsworth, which was referenced. The city now doth like a garment wear the beauty of the morning, silent, bare, ships, towers, domes, theatres and temples lie, open unto the fields and into the sky, all bright and glittering in the smokeless air. After finishing my book, we actually left for Devon, where we were going on our family holiday. This is one of my favourite places and we had such a wonderful time even though the weather was blustery and drizzly pretty much the whole time. 
Our days were filled with long misty walks through empty fields, delicious lunches on windy beaches, lots of surfing in the freezing cold sea, and warming up with books, hot water bottles and tea in the cottage. I just love living slowly and mindfully whilst we are here and I have had such a good time. Also though, for the second part of this video, I also wanted to share a day in my life with you because I feel like it's been a long time since I've done one and I thought it'd be a nice thing to add on to the end of this video. morning it's ruby and it's a beautiful rainy cold day in the uk today i love days like this it really feels like autumn which is my favorite season even though it is summer it's about seven o'clock a little bit before seven maybe and um i am just about to make breakfast but i want to have courgette in my porridge today and so i've come down to pick a courgette from my grandma because she said last night that i could um, pick one of our courgettes to have with breakfast. I don't actually know where the courgettes are though and I don't know how to recognise them so this is going to be a bit of a hunting expedition and hopefully we'll find them. If not, I might have to not have the courgette for breakfast. I should have asked her yesterday where they were actually kept. <laughs> oh, I think I've spotted them. Yeah, see? The little like courgette flowers. <laughs> this one. She said there was a little one that I could take, so I wonder if this one is actually okay to eat. Okay, I've picked my very mini courgette. My grandma seemed to think that this would be okay to eat, even though it is really small, and it does feel okay, it doesn't feel really hard, so hopefully this will be delicious, and I'm very excited to make my porridge with this. That is very good courgette. myself breakfast and I'm well aware this looks like a very boring porridge but I was feeling something quite plain this morning and I'm currently reading picnic on hanging rock in this bathroom and it's just celebrating look I'm not sure if you can tell writing now. I like to start every morning with writing and usually I'll do it after my walk but I think I'm going to do it before my walk today because I'm in the mood for it. I also got myself some toast because I was still hungry after breakfast. Okay, I'm currently on my morning walk. I did some writing this morning but not very much at all. I am quite happy with what I did write, but I just did not write very much quantity wise. Um, I think I wrote about three or four hundred words, um, and it's now quarter to nine, so quite a lot later. Listen to that sound as well. 
Isn't that lovely? I've got quite a lot of things that I want to do today. I want to have a productive day. Like I have had a really nice restful two days right before this, spending a lot of time with my family. Um, but today I've got a few things that I do want to get done. That doesn't mean it's not going to be a mindful restful day though, because I think you can coincide productivity with that kind of happiness. But I'm just going to enjoy this walk and I will check back with you when I'm back home. I'm back from my walk and I have got myself a nice mug of Feel New Tea from Pucker. And now I'm just going to empty the dishwasher before actually getting on with some work. It's already 9.20 so it's quite late. Dishwasher unstacked, it's now 9.30, oh my goodness. I wrote a to-do list yesterday but I might actually make a timetable. I haven't done a timetable for a while. I don't tend to do them over the summer, but I did actually want to get quite a lot of stuff done today, so I might make a timetable. Here I'm just writing a timetable, as I said. And then I moved on to taking some photos for the academic planner which I was launching on my website. Okay, I just took some photos of the ribbon which we're selling with the planner. Now I'm going to read a book for my dissertation. Um, this is on Victorian Christmas prints culture and I'm hoping to read the first two chapters of this but I'm just going to put on a timer for 45 minutes and see how much we read in that time. Hey Google, can you please set a timer for 45 minutes? Okay, 45 minutes. Starting now. It's 11 and I managed to read just one chapter of this book but I did take a lot of notes and it was very interesting so I'm going to tick that off my to-do list and now I think I am going to make some edits to a short story I recently wrote. As you can see, I came downstairs just for a change of scenery. Okay, it's 12.30 and I've just finished editing this short story. I wrote it last year and have had it on my to-do list to edit for, well, literally since I wrote it and I just kept on putting it off, I don't know why. But I finally done that and I'm really pleased that I have it. It was really good fun to do as well. Um, so I've ticked that off my to-do list and I'm now gonna look for some short story competitions because one of my newest resolutions is to try entering more short story competitions. So I'm just gonna input this into a calendar where I keep track of lots of them. This will only take like five minutes, but I try to do it once every month or so. So after finishing that, I got myself some lunch and ate that whilst reading my book. And then I made some granola and whilst it was in the oven, I went outside to do some work. So then I was going to do some more reading for my dissertation. I started off by sitting in the lounge, but then I realized it was actually really, really warm outside. So I moved outside and actually put the dissertation work on hold because it was such beautiful weather and I wanted to read my book. It's been raining pretty much all morning, 
but it's now really really sunny so I've come outside to read and I've got some other bits I want to do this afternoon but I think I might try and do them outside maybe do them at the table outside Then my sister and I cleaned the kitchen and by the time all that was done, uh, my granola was finished in the oven. So I just put it in this jar and then I went upstairs, tidied my bedroom a bit and also sorted through some baskets under my bed. I recently got this new basket and I just wanted to transfer everything into it. Can you see this little guy, look? So then I just got some admin bits done, including wrapping this birthday present for a friend and writing some birthday cards. Okay, we are now going out on a little day trip. Uh, we're going to go and get a birthday card for my friend and mum has to get a birthday card too for somebody. Someone special, like my bestie. Yay. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're just going to go to this really cute card shop. It's like an independent shop and I will show you some clips when we're in there. October vibes, yay! We're just pretending it's autumn. Both of us are wearing like real autumnal oh, outfits lovely. as well. Is the library open? Can I check? Because I think it's past four. I think they close at four, but <gasps> the library's open. I'm sorry for not checking in with you, but my mum and I got back and immediately dad and I went out for a bike ride, which is why I changed um, it just into something warmer and more suitable for cycling. We just went around the corner, like we were only gone for like 15 minutes, but it's just nice to get out of the house and go on the bikes every day. So now I'm going to go upstairs and I think I'm going to do some of this online module that I, they offer at the other Exeter campus in Pemrin and I really, really, really wish they offered it at the Stratham campus, but they don't. So I'm going to do the module online and watch the lectures and I'm going to start that today. So let's go upstairs and do that. Nice little study with me just for fun. <laughs> Okay, I'm just logging in now. Um, I'm gonna have to, let's make a new page on Notion for this as well. Uh, university. I don't know where to put it. I might just put it with my second year modules. I've done pretty much the whole of week one and I'm just gonna go down and have dinner now. As you can see, it's very dark now. Okay, so my family and I, after dinner, watch some television. We tend to do that every evening after dinner. And now it's 9.30. I've got a snack and some tea, and I'm going to read in bed. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you have a productive